Hi, welcome to Vocab Wednesday. I am Chris with McGoosh, and today's topic is common but unknown words. Which it sounds kind of weird, but here's my logic. There are words that are relatively common in the New York Times, or at least that level of writing, but they never really show up on GRE word lists. At the same time, you may not necessarily know these words, so they're perfect because if they do actually show up on the test, then you'll know what they mean. Starting with sucker. Now, this doesn't mean like, haha, I got you, sucker, though it's pronounced the same way, so phonetically equivalent, but the meaning of sucker is actually support or aid or assistance, especially in a time of need. So, during all these midnight study sessions you're having right now for the GRE, if your friend or your significant other provides you with warm tea or cookies or whatever it may be, that's an example of sucker. You can have this assistance. It could be in the form of food. It could even be in the form of emotional sucker. Maybe they sit and listen to you and say, oh, if you're struggling with the GRE, maybe you should relax, etc., etc. Again, providing that support during time to be. It actually comes from wartime, but GRE is pretty much like a battlefield. Next, this word is pronounced detritus, not detritus. Detritus is waste and debris. Stuff strewn about everywhere. So imagine a big street party, like Mardi Gras. Come 5 a.m., everyone's gone home. What does the street look like? Well, there's detritus. There's garbage and debris, empty cups here and there, all on the street. And that is kind of the definition of detritus. It doesn't have to be earthly, though. You can think of satellites when they blow up in outer space, that all the detritus is spewed into the orbit of the Earth, or spewed into the orbit of the Earth. Next, speaking of outer space and gravity, we have gravitas. So gravitas isn't necessarily gravity in the normal sense, but the second definition of gravity is seriousness and manner, or bearing. And so gravitas is that, ah, I'm going to have a solemn, serious manner, because what I do is very important. Think of a judge sitting there in his black robe or her black robe, gavel in hand. There is a certain gravitas so that we feel almost intimidated by their serious manner. Hopefully, I, I'm not known for my gravitas. <laughs> and lastly, we have putative. What does putative mean? Assumed to be the case, which is kind of a vague definition. So if you have a leader of a c country and he doesn't really run the show, but someone kind of behind the scenes does, that person is the putative leader, as long as everyone knows that that person is actually running the show, such as Vladimir Putin, when he stepped down for prime minister of Russia, he was actually in some you know, second president, third president role, but everyone knew he was still the guy running Russia. He was the putative head. So Putin, putative, yeah, a good little mnemonic for you. And that's it for us on this week's Vocab Wednesday, but... Visit us at gre.magoosh.com, and I'll see you next week.